Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School. It is your Lady Cats hosting the Richford Rockets tonight. First game of four this week. We're going to get to know each other real, real well, aren't we, Jim? <laughs> Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on the Cape Dow streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Opening tip, controlled by no one. Richford with the ball. As I get myself set up here. Cats come in with a record of two and one. Home cooking has been the uh, been the meal that they've wanted lately. They lost their opening game up in Enosburg and then they beat Danville and Oxbow here at the Den last week. Richford tonight, we got uh, Virgens coming in Wednesday night. The boys are playing Stowe tomorrow night and the Stowe's are playing again uh, Thursday. The boys are playing Thursday again. I cannot remember their opponent. Out of bounds, referee Dana Mesha gives the ball to the Cats. He's in on the inbounds. It'll be Alexis Christensen. Richford comes in with a record of 1-0. They beat Virgins 39-37. So we got Richford tonight and Virgins Wednesday, so we get to see both those teams now. Shot outside, straight in. That was Abby Fadden. Three-pointer gives the Rockets a 3-0 lead. Rockets control. Come back down, try and match up some names and numbers. It's Kay Duso inside, turn around, putting the ball up off the glass, doesn't drop for Sierra Derby. Rebound, Richford. He's talking to Coach Randy Lumsden before the game. He says Richard is a very quick team. He's hoping to counter that quickness with some of the girls that he's got out there. Isabel Gowan out there. She got the start tonight, who is super quick. Alexis is deceptively fast. Foul called on Emma Fadden. Hazel inbounds. Richard press. Right from the start. See what they can get. See if we can break this press. Caitlin. It's the ball up. Isabel. Triple team. Tessa. Cross court. Up underneath. Alexis can't get anything going. Richford on the inbounds. Stolen by Tessa Luther. Here's Alexis. Drops a pass back. Isabel streaks inside. Up off the glass. Doesn't drop. Rebound Gillespie. Back out. Long shot taken off the glass. Tessa Luther comes back with a three-pointer of her own. The barefoot Contessa knots things up at three. Cats press on their own. These teams do move. I think we're going to have to see some good basketball out here tonight. Kai do so. Spin. Shot up. She rattles around and in. For Kai do so. 5 3 Richford. 5 55 left to go to first. Caitlin off the glass. Draws the bell. Foul was called on Kai Duso. Caitlin at the line. KKK Caitlin gets her first points of the night. Second one. Score tied up 5 5 again. Or should, should I say the score tied is again? Jim, what I'm trying to say is the score is tied again, five to five. We were three to three there for a second. Christensen does get the three-pointer go rebound. Gillespie. Could say I'm a little tongue-tied maybe with that. Christensen on the inbounds underneath the Hazen hoop. 
Looking for the open player, Gillespie. Can't get the shot to go. I mean, and just glancing out here on the floor, and Steele, Gowan, can't come up with it. Trying to get the fighting for the ball, taken away by Emma Fadden. And looking at the floor, these two teams seem to match up well. They both have some height, they both have some quickness. Um, obviously, both teams can handle the ball, and they can shoot the lights out out here. So uh, I think this is going to be a really, really exciting game to watch. That shot short. Hazen will retain possession, regain possession. Rockets press. Creating some havoc out there. Referee Josh Smith calls the ball off Hazen, gives it to the Rockets. Inside. Nowhere to go for Smith. Stolen away by Hazen up ahead. Tessa puts up a shot off the glass. Can't go. Davison gets in there. Duso comes out running. Isabel with her knocks it out of bounds. Student section loving that. Be Kai Duso on the inbounds. Drops it off. Madison Smith. Drive. Shot. Doesn't go. Rebound. Richford. Brings it back out. Going to set it back up. Thought about taking a three. Makes a pass. Loses it. Baden couldn't, uh, couldn't hang on to the pass. 425 left to go here in the first. The score is still tied at five. Tessa back over Isabel. Looking underneath. Alexis wide open. She's got a head. Easy basket for Christensen. Defense kind of let uh, Alexis sneak behind there. And there's a travel. Went to make the pass. Couldn't quite do it. In comes Ella Shagnon and Kai Duso. Out. Isabel, far side, pass inside, a little high. Julie the girls here in now. Inbounds, Richford. Underneath the Hazen hoop, cats a press, trying to create a turnover, get a quick hoop maybe. Instead, the pass is way ahead and out of bounds, so that will create created a turnover. So Hazen went out inbounds underneath their own hoop. So really they created what they were after. Christensen gets it into Groslier, snuck in there. Julia, the freshman, makes it 9-5 Hazen. Cross. Stolen away. Uh, Tessa got a hand on it. Gowan down. We got a jump ball. Possession arrow will give the ball to Hazen. 3.47 left to go in the first. Cats up 9-5. Gracie Sylvester is going to check in. And Abby Fadden coming out. Isabel comes out, and that is Bailey Christensen going in. So we have the A and the B of the Christensen connection here. Caitlin and Hoop. Eleven five, three thirty four left to go to first. Alexis with the steal. Like I said, she is deceptively fast. Bailey, A to the B right there. Christensen connection. Inside, DeGrosier, back out, Alexis goes down, got tangled up. I'm going to call a blocking foul, I believe. Foul called on Madison Smith. 
Ty Duso checks in. And Smith is going to come out. Inbounds. Caitlin, turn around. Doesn't drop. Richford with the rebound. Sylvester with the rebound. Gets it over. Kai Duso. Gets it to Fadden. Fadden up front. Derby. Tries to dribble in back out. Shot. Doesn't go. Rebound. Hazen. Caitlin's going to come up running. Caitlin. Nice pass over. Alexis was open momentarily. Cats moving the ball well. Caitlin takes a three, makes a three. Kate, 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 Caitlin Davison, 14-5, and Coach Tim Legassi wants a timeout. Get his Rockets back together. The Cats have uh, run off nine straight points now to give himself the nine-point lead with 2.42 left to go here in the first. Once again, this is Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera, our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. Applications now open for any GMTCC programs, including Allied Health, Business Administration, Cooperative Education, Culinary Arts, uh, Forest and Land Management, Sustainable Agriculture and Food System. Good stuff right there. So busy week here at the Den, and what a weekend we have. Uh, we had this past weekend with the, Dave, the final of the Dave Morris Classic. The boys came out uh, as champions for the fourth straight year, honored the championship team from 2021-22, unfurled the banner, got a nice new banner up there now for our Division Three championship that we won last year, and uh, they honored the other eight teams that have won, and uh, it was quite a night. A lot of heritage, a lot of history, a lot... Good times. Good times. And just for a little bit of basketball trivia, it's Kevin McHale's birthday today. Any Celtic fan will know who Kevin McHale is. Probably one of the best six men to ever come off a bench ever. Here's McHale. Stolen by Hazen on the inbounds. Bailey to Alexis, to Tessa, to Caitlin. Inside, Julia, turn around. Double pump, nice shot. Nice patience. Richford gets the inbounds. Drops it off, do so. Pass over, Sylvester. And that's Madison Smith, loses her dribble. Ball loose. Sylvester, nice pass, nice presence. Made a beautiful pass over there to Derby. Hailstorm. Haley. Mitchin coming in. Julia's going to take a breather. Cats will inbound underneath the Richford basket. 155 left to go to first. 16 5. Cats have now scored the last. Uh, the last bunch of the last bunch of, of points here. Eleven points is what I'm trying to say. I don't trust my brain nowadays. I'm fried. A lot of basketball we've done. We still got three more games this week. Alexis, drive, loses it. Ball rolls out. Can give the ball to Richford. This is Christmas, right? We're going to have Christmas this week, right? <laughs> Richford on the inbounds. Gets it in. Ellis Shagnon with the ball for momentarily. This is uh, Derby with it now. Spinning, trying to get the pass across. Sylvester puts up a shot. Doesn't go. Rebound. And we're going to have a tie-up. Alexis and Madison Smith tie up. Cessonero gives the ball to the Rockets. Kai, high on her shot. High, arching shot by Kai Duso. Comes Caitlin. Tessa. 
cross court, looking for Alexis. Nice, nice uh, catch right there. Nice save. Madison Smith on her. Uh, Alexis once again having a tough time out there. Aubrey Fadden checking in, and Madison Smith out for the Rockets. Caitlin back to Tessa Bailey. Caitlin going to take a three, make a three. K -k -k Caitlin, second three pointer of the game for the junior. 36 8, 10 points for Caitlin. 19 5 your score. 30 seconds left here in the first. I do so. Pass off. Up underneath, shot in the foul for Sierra Derby. First points the Rockets have scored in quite a while here. Nice move. Foul called on Haley Mitchell. Hailstorm. Derby will go to the line, complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Doesn't go off the rim, rebound. Caitlin, 16 seconds left to go here in the first. Bailey into the A of the connection. Alexis, the B to the A on the Christensen connection. Alexis with four points now. Shot, man, I thought that was going to go. Uh, at the end of the first, it is the your Hazen Union Lady Cats tripling up the Richford Rockets by a score of 21 to 7. So let's give our sponsors a read, as I do at the end of each quarter. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future, that's gmtcc.lnsd.org. Um, and yeah, girls come in 2-1. and one. A couple of home victories under the belts, looking to get another one. And then we got Virgins on Wednesday. So, and then there's a couple of games uh, just before New Year's as well. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080, streaming on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived, www.hctv.us. Jim on camera. Once again, Ritford, I believe, comes in with a record of 1-0. They beat Virgin's 39-37, uh, if my research is correct. And just for some completely mindless trivia, that matters only to me it was on this day in 1987, 35 years ago tonight, just probably at about this time, I was in the New Haven Coliseum to see Ted Nugent and Kiss. One of the moments I will never forget is Kiss came out towards the end of the show. All the guys came around one mic. They put some red and green pin spots down on them, and they did an a cappella version of White Christmas that was really, really good. Hailstorm underneath gets a hoop. In fact, you can see it on YouTube. If you YouTube me and you, you type in KISS 1987 New Haven, the clip of them doing that will come up, and I was at that show. Feels like it was yesterday. Richford on the attack. Nice move, Kai Duso. Breaks up the pass. Richard Press has created a little havoc here for the offense. Uh, getting the ball up, but once we get it up, I'm doing pretty good. Cats have been pretty decent at breaking up the press. Not on that one, though, is Duso. Comes up dribbling. Going to take a three. Off the rim, rebound, Derby. Derby working against Hailstorm. They're going to call Haley. Going to call Haley. Isabel Gowan in. We'll see who comes out. Bailey's going to come out, and Emma Fadden is going to go in, and it'll be Ella Shagnon coming out for the Rockets. Rockets will inbound underneath their own hoop.
do so. Short. Rebound Davison. Looking up ahead, Tessa's going to have to run. Isabel was there. Tried, she tried to touch pass to Isabel. It would have been pretty if it would have went. But uh, do so. Nice behind the back dribble right there. Wanted to get the pass over to Sylvester. Caitlin intercepted that one. Over to Isabel. Isabel can't make it, but Isab uh, Caitlin will try. Nope, rebound Derby. Swings it over here to do so. Up there to Sylvester. Nice pass inside. Derby, turn around. Nice move. Four points for the junior. Makes it 23-9 with six minutes left to go in the first half. Caitlin, back out. Gillespie going to try a shot from outside. Strong. Game was actually tied 5-5 early. Then the Cats went on an 11-point run. And haven't really looked back. Gowan, trying to get it. We've got a tie-up. I was going to say. I <laughs> Dana Masha, uh, they had it kind of tied up. He let him play, and then he calls... Isabel on the travel, and Mesha going over and speaking to the to the student section. But I don't know. He saw something that we didn't. Rockets turn it over. I'm still kind of puzzled over that call, but I mean, he was standing a foot away, so and I'm up here at the top of the bleachers, so I don't know. Anyways, Tessa, back to the game. Isabel on the far side, works it in. Alexis at the foul line, drive. Puts up shot high off the glass, doesn't go. Gillespie, rebound, back out. Gowan just inside the three-point line. That one's off, rebound Sylvester. Gets it over here to do so. So nice drop pass underneath for Sylvester. Can't get the ball to go, though. Wow. I mean, they, they move the ball really well inside. Just can't get any shots to fall. Tough night for the Rockets. 5.03 left to go in the first half. Cats up 23-9. They're calling off the press. Going to let us bring it up. Setting up the defense back here. See what will happen. We had been kind of sneaking behind that press, too, as well. We got a couple of easy hoops there in the first quarter. Isabel, move to the basket, shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Sylvester drops it over to do so. Nice pass, do so to Derby. Shot in the foul, beautiful pass. From do so to Derby for that shot. 23-11, 435 left to go, foul called on uh, Caitlin, her first. Sierra Derby, a junior, looking to complete the three point play. And does not rebound. Caitlin. Here's Alexis. Tessa. In and out. Rebound Gillespie. She got fouled by Sylvester. Should go to the line to shoot two. 4.24 left to go in the first half. Cats up 23-11. First shot doesn't go. Second shot goes for Gillespie. First points of the night for the senior. 24-11. Do so. Up over to Fadden. Back to do so.
that and trying to get it back to do so. Broken up. Man. Okay. Do so. Nice behind the back move again. Pass over. Sylvester was wide open. Pass was hot. I don't I don't know. I think the referee's gotta get start getting a little tiny bit quicker and calling some of these tie-ups. Girls are gonna get hurt. In my own humble broadcaster's opinion. I never question what the referees do, but I don't know. It just seems like they're letting them fight it out a tad too long out here on some of these. Sylvester underneath wants to go in. Caitlin right there. Sylvester again moves inside. Two white jerseys on her. Do so. Going to pop a three. Off the rim, rebound. Isabel, I doubt anybody's going to catch her. Uh, Fadden was back. Fadden got back, but man, Isabel is just so fast. Guy want to go to the line, shooting two. Foul called on Sylvester. First shot, doesn't go. Kai Duso comes out, catches a breather. Athletic young lady right there. Girl can dribble. The girls here with the rebound off the miss. Julia the girls here, six points for the freshman. 26-11, your score. 315 left to go in the first half. Been all Lady Cats since early in the first. Some home cooking. Three pointer. I almost went. Almost went for Emma Fadden. Isabel, drive. Can't get it to drop. Julia. Alexis collects the rebound. I think they're going to bring it out and maybe set things up here. Davison over to Isabel. Swings the pass. Tessa, the barefoot Contessa. Over to Alexis Christensen. Tessa. And getting in there and knocking it away was Emma Fadden. Girls are tough. Richford playing hard. Referee's going to talk about it. We got Josh Smith and Dana Masha here tonight. And now the Richard fans is upset with that call as the uh, Hazen fans were with the travel there a few minutes ago on Isabel. So I don't know. Boys, letting them, airing it out over there. Stolen. It's Fadden. To Fadden. Back to Fadden. Fadden puts up a shot off the glass. Doesn't go. We got a chase. Knocked back in. Nice save by Richford. Come up with it. Derby. Over to Fadden. Inside. Derby. Turn around. Back over. Madison Smith. With Tessa right on her. Emma Fadden. Derby. Wants to dribble. Can't get it. Can't get through. Defense tough. And Josh Smith says ball goes off Hazen. And Randy wants a timeout to talk things over. With 1.44 left to go here in the first half. And your Hazen and the Lady Cats leading by a score of 26 to 11. Here on this uh, it's National Hard Candy Day. I like Christmas candy. Peppermint. I like the ones that taste like black licorice. Those are good. Yep. And uh, let's see. It was on this day in 1971 that CBS aired the Homecoming Christmas special. The Homecoming was sort of the predecessor or the introduction that gave us the Waltons. Um, looking back at it now, I think all the kids... 
I think the kids cast stayed the same. They changed. They swapped out the adults with the exception of grandma. There's a different grandpa and a different uh, mom and dad, but I think the kids all stayed the same from that one. And there was a different Ike Godsey, too. Uh, ball off the thing, it's going to go out of bounds. There's a different Ike Godsey, but uh, I have it on DVD. Great, great Christmas special from the early 70s. Once again, where they you know, give us the Waltons. If you're in the Christmas spirit at all. 139 left to go. Cats are in the Christmas spirit. They just gave up the ball in a hoop. It was Ella Shagnon with the, with the basket. Makes it 26-13. Alexis Short, rebound derby. Foul called on Caitlin. I believe that'll be her second. 105 left to go in the first half. Cats up 26 13. Richford on the attack. Derby back out. Shagnon swings it over to Fadden. Shagnon inside. Second of Derby. Referee uh, Dana Mesha blows his whistle. Foul called on Julia DeGrosier. 50.3 seconds left to go in the first half. Richford will inbounds underneath her own hoop. Smith, back out, three-pointer, short, rebound Davison. Richford right in there though. Gets the ball back, Alexis comes up. She's got Isabel over on the side. Isabel, ooh, nice closing speed though. Emma Fadden closed in on Isabel really, really well to interrupt the uh, lane to the hoop. And we got 25 seconds left here in the first half. Madison Smith with the ball inside. Derby wants to go inside, puts up a shot, doesn't drop, draws the foul. Foul called on Alexis, that's her first. So with 20.9 seconds here, left to go in the first half, and the Cats up 26-13 at Sierra Derby, a junior for the Richford Rockets at the line shooting two. Can't get it to drop. Second shot goes for Derby. Seven points for the junior. Kai Dusa with two, Aubrey Fadden with three, and Ella Shagnon with two for the Rockets in this first half. 15 seconds. Turn around. Alexis Christensen. Shot doesn't go. Rebound Julia. And we're going to call a foul. We've got uh, Tessa with three, Alexis with four, Caitlin with uh, three, six, eight, ten. Julia with six, Ella with one, and Haley Mitchell with two. All unofficial scoring for your Lady Cats. Julia DeGrosse at the line. The 26-14 lead, 9.2 seconds left to go in the first half. First shot is good. We give Julia seven points as of the moment. That one doesn't go. Have to hurry. Smith throws up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound. Back out. And that'll end the first half with your Lady Cats up by a score of 27 to 14. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on the cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera sponsors tonight Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472 5522. We support Hayes Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center to jumpstart your future. We'll be back at the start of the second half. All right, we're about 30 seconds away from second half action here at the Den Hazen Union High School in Hardy, Vermont. It is your Hazen Union Lady Cats hosting the Richford Rockets tonight. 
Uh, it was close for a little bit in the first. At one point, the score was tied 5-5. Then Hazen went on a little run, and they haven't really looked back. Your score currently 27-14. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Jumpstart your future. GMTCC.LNSD.org. Madison Smith with the ball for the Rockets. Double team. Gets it back out. Shagnon inside. Looking for Derby. Knocked back out. Nice save. Shagnon. Fadden can't come up with it. Fadden trying to not to go backcourt. Pass back inside. Derby. Cross here on the near side. Down underneath. She was looking for Madison Smith underneath. Ball didn't get there. Turnover. Cats come in with a record of 2-1. and one. They won their last uh, two games here at home. They lost their opener uh, on the road up in Enosburg a couple weeks ago. But since then, uh, two games here against Danville and Oxbow. They won both those rather handily. And then up in pretty good shape right now. Richard comes in with a record 1-0. They beat Virgens, and Virgens comes here to the gym uh, Wednesday the 21st to play our Lady Cats. We'll see what happens. And the varsity boys have a couple of games uh, against Stowe on Tuesday and then another one on Thursday. Gillespie back out. Christensen over to Isabel. Swings it over. Caitlin. Davison takes the three. Off. Rebound. Christensen. Alexis Christensen back in. Blocked. Shot blocked. Gillespie blocked out by Derby. Nice move, Fadden up ahead to Smith. Can't get the layup to drop. Tessa back out with it, bodies on the floor. Referee Josh Smith with the whistle. Foul called on Sierra Derby, her first. I do so, getting ready to check in for the Rockets. Caitlin, pass out. Isabel over to Tessa. Here's Christensen. Isabel swings it over. Caitlin, drive inside, puts up a shot. Nice shooter's touch. Gives Caitlin 12 points for the game. 29-14, currently leading all scores. Smith, shot off the glass, doesn't go. Rebound, Gillespie, surrounded, and... Uh, foul called on Madison Smith. Um, I'm going to agree to disagree with that call. I thought it was a tie-up, but I... Uh, we've seen Dana make a couple of calls tonight that, uh, I don't know. Still's not going to prompt me to put on a striped shirt and go down there, so we'll just we'll roll with it. Six oh six left to go in the third. Cats up twenty nine fourteen. Rebound, Derby. Spin move, do so. Can't get it to go. Follow up, Derby. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Davison. Rockets working the ball inside nice, but just can't get the shots to fall. Hazen defense stifling. And that was the Barefoot Contessa. A two pointer to make it 31 14. Derby inside, drops it over. Do so, trying to work up. Short, rebound, Gillespie. Back out, Caitlin. Had Fadden on her. Pass up Tessa to Alexis. Alexis cross court. A to the B, Christensen connection. Contessa back, the barefoot Contessa that is Bailey. Uh, stolen, look, can see that coming all the way. Do so. Kai do so. Four points for the sophomore. Good player and at a sophomore. I can't imagine what she's going to be like as a senior. Bailey puts up a shot. Why not? The only shot you don't make is a shot you don't take. Two points for the sophomore. 33-16 lead for the Cats. 
this point, just about everything falling for Hazen. And nothing going for the Rockets. Rebound, Davison, double team, gets it up, Bailey. Over to Tessa, do so on her. Rockets doing a good job trying to break up those passing lanes. Tough defense, Derby right there. Castle set it up again. Bailey over to Tessa. Defense not giving them much here. Alexis takes a shot, doesn't go. In to get the rebound though is Caitlin. Tries to throw the ball off a richer player. Wow, the ball ping pongs all around. Caitlin ends up coming down with it. That was wild. Caitlin was trying to throw the ball off a Richard player out of bounds. The ball bounced up onto another Richard player back into Caitlin's hands. She gets a shot. Wow. Everything's just going to Cat's way. Everything is going to Cat's way right now. 3 5 16. Rockets trying to do something. Off the rim. Rebound. Derby. Turn around. Can't, still can't get it to go. Follow up. Do so. Shot and the foul. Kai do so. Foul called on Ella Gillespie. Hailstorms going to check in. And Gracie Sylvester checks in. And uh, I said, I didn't see who else went in. Was it 13? No, Sylvester was in there. Well, we got Sylvester, Derby, Duso, Fadden. Can't see the other girl's number. And Fadden in there. For Hazen, it is uh, Caitlin, Alexis, Haley, Tessa, and Bailey. Shot doesn't go. <laughs> Coach Tim Legassi talking to Dana Masha as he goes by. Caitlin doesn't get the layup. Hailstorm gets in there, gets a hand on it. Emma Fadden back out. Aubrey Fadden gets it to Derby. Pass inside, ball down, and we got a jump ball. Possession arrow, give the ball to the Cats. I don't know. No, they're going to give it to Red. All right, in the end, the possession arrow gives the ball to the Rockets. They will inbounds underneath their own hoop. But 2.32 left to go in the third. Cats up 35-18. We've got a scrum. Smith. Gets it to Fadden. Fadden to Derby. Derby wants to drive inside right on the baseline. Doesn't go. Doesn't get the move she wanted. Bailey. Back to Kaelin over to... Alexis, there's Tessa with Sylvester on her. Bailey. Caitlin, turn around, doesn't go. Cats shooting them cold, at least for the moment. After going at a torrid pace there for a little bit. 35 18, your score. 156 left to go in the third. Aubrey Fadden trying to drop it into Derby. Alexis comes up with it. Caitlin in there. That's 
Sylvester's going to come back out. Sylvester was with her. Caitlin to turn around. Kick, 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 Caitlin. 16 points. How do you defend that? Three pointer. Short. Caitlin. Sits to Tessa. Bailey, knocked out by Smith. Ella Shagnon coming in, Isabel comes in. It's gonna be uh, Emma Fadden coming off and Tessa comes off and Kai Duso goes in. And Aubrey Fadden comes out. Hail Storm, can't get it to go. Bunch of red jerseys right there. Duso comes out with it. 55 seconds left to play here in the third. And it's Sierra Derby drawing a foul. Junior's got seven points right now. She's going to the line shooting two. 51.4 left to go in the third. Foul called on Haley Mitchell, her third. First shot short. That one short as well. Gets her own rebound though. Turn around, puts up a shot. Doesn't go, draws another foul. That foul called on Bailey Christensen. So Derby will go back to the line and try and shoot another two here. Let's see what she can do. That's that one. Eight points now for the junior. Julia comes in, Haley goes out. Sierra Derby with one more shot here. Scores currently 37-19, 48.5 left to go in the third. That shot off, rebound, Sylvester looking to get it back in. Ball Plinko went around in there, and yeah, let's have a jump ball. And I believe this time the possession will give it to the Lady Cats. Caitlin bringing the ball up, 40 seconds left to go in the third. Stolen away by Richford, here's Sylvester. Isabel comes up from behind her, picks her pocket. Ball, Rockets will retain. Nice defense by Isabel Gowan. Do so, puts up a three, short. Rebound, Julia de Grosier. 16 seconds left, plenty of time. Bailey. Stolen away by Duso. Taken back by Alexis, though. Inside, Caitlin off the glass. Davison. Eight points in the third, 18 overall. At the end of the third is your Hazen Union Lady Cats leading the Richford Rockets by a score of 39 to 19. Lance Hall with the call. Jim on camera. HCTV, channel 1080 on the cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain, Te Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, Jumpstart Your Future. It was on this day in uh, 1948, the NFL Championship game was played in Philadelphia in a blizzard. They played the Chicago Cardinals. Yes, the Cardinals were in Chicago then. Uh, the game was 7-zip. The man who scored for Philadelphia to win the game for him was Steve Van Buren, who was an incredible running back for that era. He woke up that morning, looked out, saw the snow, figured the game would be canceled or postponed. They called him up and they're like, Steve, no, we're still playing the game. He took like a train, a trolley, 
hitched a ride in a cab and I believe walked the last few blocks to the stadium and then uh, played in a game. And if I remember right, they had to recruit people out of the stands to help them remove the tarp because there was so much snow on the tarp that was covering the field. And within moments, the field was then covered with snow anyway because it was snowing so hard. Just imagine that happening in a modern NFL game now. Your star running back, taking a cab, a trolley, a train, walking the last few blocks of the stadium, you know, to score the winning, you know, the, the only and winning touchdown to win the championship. Do so gets it over Smith. Here's Shagnon. Shagnon goes baseline back out, and Smith tries to save it, but she goes back court. So 7:48 left to go in the game. We have a turnover. Knocked away by Sylvester. She's been uh, around the ball a lot tonight, creating some turnovers and stuff out there. Do so. Ties up Isabel. Foul going to be called on Do so. Her second. Richford girls are scrappers, I'll tell that. Playing hard. Blocked, blocked by Derby. Shagnon, some shot doesn't go. Ball back around. Caitlin. Shagnon on Caitlin. Isabel, do so on her. That be wow. What a pass, though, that was to get it to uh, Julio. That was an amazing pass. Julio ended up traveling. But what a pass. Derby off the glass. Sierra Derby. Ten points. These all Richford scores. It's a 39-21. What a foul. Foul called on Madison Smith. That's her fourth. She'll come out, and uh, Aubrey Fadden will go back in. 6.43 left to go in the game. Cats looking to push their record to 3-1. and one. They will then host for Jens on Thursday. Just an insane amount of basketball going on here at the Den last weekend. This this is the first of four games this week. Alexis over to Caitlin. Shagnon on her. Drops inside, Isabel puts a shot up, doesn't go, rebound off Hazen. Cats will press now. Duso direct to track of traffic, gets it into Derby, back to Duso, going up the far sideline. Nice pass over to Sylvester for coming in. Caitlin with the block. And Richford thought they had two easy points. Caitlin Davidson, uh-uh, not in my house. Shot up, off the rim, doesn't go. Gowan in there, Derby wrestles that one away. Sierra Derby. 12 points for the junior. Stolen away, do so. 39-25. Richford keeping us honest out here. Yeah. 
turnover. Coach Lumsden wants a timeout to talk things over. 39-25, your score, 5.36 left. Richford, a little bit of a burst here. So you give you some of the scoring highlights. Uh, Alice Shagman with two, Aubrey Fadden with three, Kai Duso with two, four, six, eight, and Sierra Derby with two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Over for Hayes and Tessa Luther with five, Alexis with four, Bailey with two, Caitlin with 18, Julie DeGrosiers with seven, Ella with one, Haley with two, all incredibly unofficial. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. On this date, 1997, the uh, movie Titanic opened. Uh, went on to make about 15 mil at the box office. Uh, huge, huge. Or maybe it just made that much in the opening week. I don't know. Also on this day in uh, 2014, Darlene Love sang Christmas Baby Please Come Home for the final time on the Dave Letterman show as Dave was finishing up his run. Started with NBC, went to CBS. It was a tradition that had started in 1986 that every Christmas show that Letterman ever did, Darlene Love came on and did that song. Final time, this date in 2014. It's Holly Day, by the way, too, so let's say hi to all the Hollies out there. Or if you want some Holly for your Christmas decorations, it's, it's Holly Day, you can get Holly. Stolen by Richford. Student section comes alive. 5.15 left. Do so in, puts up shot, doesn't go. Do so gets her own rebound, puts it up again. Rebound Davison. Alexis inside. Julia wants to turn around, can't get it. Back out. Caitlin sets it up. Do so on her. Three second call. Three seconds, I believe. I didn't see the signal, but I'm going to assume that's probably what it was. Do so over here, Shagnan. Alexis on her, but I got to do so. Wild shot, can't get it to go. Caitlin with Sylvester standing straight up, trying to get a pass over to Haley. Goes out off the. No, we have a foul. Foul called on Aubrey Fadden, her third. 4.25 left to go in the game. Cats up 39-25. Stolen away. Uh, is it going to be stolen back? Are we going to have a tie-up? What are we going to have? Jump ball and possession arrow gives the ball to the Lady Cats. Spirited action. Caitlin goes in, draws a foul. Foul called on Gracie Sylvester, her second. So with 4.16 left to go in the game, Cats up 39-25. It'll be Caitlin Davidson at the line. First one good. Second one good, 10 points now in the second half. 10 points in the first half. Gives the junior 20 points on the game. Leading all scorers. Inside, Derby. Julia on her, draws a foul. Derby will go to the line. Julia's second foul. Short. Yeah. 
Derby good on her second attempt. 13 points for the junior. She leads the Richford scores. Caitlin do so on her. Caitlin drops it over to Haley. Back out. It's Tessa. Inside Caitlin. A nice cut. Caitlin to Haley. Can't get it to go. Haley with a second shot. She's going to draw the foul. Nice pass from uh, Caitlin to Haley. Foul well called on Sierra Derby, her second. We'll send Hailstorm, Haley Mitchell, to the line. Haley with two points so far tonight. Good on her first one. Make it three points for the Hailstorm. 42-26. Second shot off the rim, and I believe that was Sylvester who couldn't quite come up with a rebound. Turns the ball over. Katz with a chance to extend their lead a little more. Nice steal. Do so, getting in front of Caitlin. Steal, she wants to go coast to coast. Can't, get, can't convert on the layup though. And that'll be red ball. 3.35 left to go in the game. Do so, drops it in, Derby. Has to go off her foot, pick up by Shagnon though. There's Do so. I think we got an injury. Derby comes up limping. And Madison Smith's gonna check in. Derby's gonna come out. Doesn't wanna come out, but I think she's gonna come off for a second. Looks like maybe she might have rolled an ankle, so maybe stepped on a calf or a foot or something. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. She'll be back in. Shot, do so. Man, can doesn't go. Do so out here, playing her heart out. Gonna be shooting one and ones now. Called on a hand check. Duso's third foul. Caitlin at the line. Doesn't make that one. Doesn't make the front end of the one on one. Tessa drops a pass back. Julia back to Tessa. Caitlin, three minutes left to go in the game. Haley gets it back to Haley once again. Double team Duso wants to take the ball away from her, does it? Duso, nice move. Gets a, gets a shot to fall finally. 10 points for the sophomore. Rockets press. Julia over to Alexis. Alexis, and that was blocked by Fadden, Aubrey Fadden. Haley with Sylvester on her back out. Davison drops a pass over. Shot off the glass, doesn't go for Hazen. Rebound Smith, tied up. Davison ties her up. And there's Sierra Derby. Back in, Madison Smith and uh, Ella Shagnon. Check out. Ty Duso. Davison strips her. Duso trying to tie her up. They'll call a foul. Third foul on Kai Duso, and that's going to send Caitlin Davidson back to the line. Davidson misses the front end of the one-on-one -on -one again. Ball goes off, Haley. Red ball. Two minutes 
2 of 6 left to go in the game. Here's Kai Duso. Score 42-28. I think it's safe to say the Cats are going to push their record to 3 and 1. Shot up, doesn't go. Rebound, Alexis Christensen. Caitlin. Ball off. Red ball. 137, 42 28. Richford always kind of a special place for me back in the infancy days of my DJing career. Back, um, we're talking uh, right around this time of year. It was Christmas of 1990. I got booked for uh, a couple of dances up at Richford High School. Foul called. Derby going to go to the line. Foul called on Ella Gillespie. Derby at the line. I got booked for a couple of dances up there, and then I got booked for a few more. I, I had about a two-year run up there. I did a lot of their school dances. A lot of fun. The kids were great. Um, staff was awesome. Derby short. And I'll tell you, when it's no longer there, but right when you turn to go up to the school, there was a store on the corner there. It was called Mayhew's Store. Had the best pizza I've ever had in my life. Their sauce was incredible. I would kill to have a slice of that pizza. Derby. Second shot, good. 14 points for Sierra Derby. Seems like a long, you know, a long time ago. It seems like it was yesterday. It does not seem like it was 32 years ago. I just remember having some, some great dances up there at Richford High School. Still battling as do so. With 115, gets it in Derby. Doesn't get the shot to drop. Derby trying to get it again. Ball goes out. Going to be Rockets possession still with 110 left to go in the game. Once again, we'll be back tomorrow night. The boys will be playing Stowe. Wednesday night, the girls will be playing Virgins. Thursday night, the boys are playing a team that I cannot remember. Yeah. 106. And then we'll uh, take a little break for Christmas. Be back again next week. Uh, December 30th going to be a big night. Uh, boys are playing PA. It's going to be Hardwick Academy night. We're going to be uh, checking out. Everybody's going to be wearing purple. Davison, less than one minute to play now. Tessa, sit over to Haley. 42-29, your score. Did the catch trying to try and run the clock out? Or are they going to throw up a shot or just kind of take it easy? Tessa will put up a shot and she draw the foul. I'll tell you, the score is one of those things where the score really isn't indicative of their play. Richford's played well in this game. they played some great defense. They've gotten some shots inside, just haven't gotten them to fall. And uh, Tessa off on her first free throw. And, uh, you know, they're still playing tough right here to the end, so. Tessa good on her second shot. Doesn't make that long bus ride back up to Richford any shorter, but, you know. And they're a young team. You know, they got two seniors, uh, three three seniors, but, you know, Kai Deuce is a sophomore. We got a couple of juniors on here. <laughs> 20 seconds. Do so. Knocks it out. Richford not going to let us dribble this out. We'll keep playing right to the end. Gillespie with Sylvester on her. We go somewhere. Wants to, wanted to get it to Christensen. Richford comes up with it. Ten seconds left. Do so. Five seconds. Gonna have to pop a three from way out. No, drop inside. Derby can't come up with that one. And that's your ball game. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats will push their record to three and one with a win over the Richford Rockets here tonight from the Dem. 
Final score, 43-29. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080. And streaming the worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera. Sponsors tonight, once again, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain, Te Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night when the boys will be hosting Stowe. Till then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.